All right, guys, we're gonna do a guide. We're gonna do a guide on, not a guide exactly. This is more, this is more of a proof of concept. We're gonna show you the differences between advanced and simple power management in a real game scenario. So we have right here, these two cruisers, both are at 16% HP, thanks to passive damage. They're exactly the same amount of HP. Uh, I've increased their total HP, so they take a little bit more time to kill. Eight, they have, so they will take 18,000 damage to kill. And I'm gonna destroy them just with burst lasers, first with advanced power management, and then with single, simple power management. All right, and what I'm, so the method here that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna fully overcharge my lasers for maximum DPS. I'm gonna get within a thousand, and game clock is 2125. I've already destroyed all the turrets, so pretty simple stuff there. And this is the fastest way to do DPS to these cruisers because overcharged lasers deal more damage per second than standard lasers. So 2125 is when we started, right? This cruiser's all ready, and we're using boost skipping with um with, power, with jet engine burst lasers power to engines none of the other components really matter just jet engine burst lasers and um a lot of boost skipping while we charge our weapons every time i'm looking at the cruiser powers and engines every time i look at the cruiser and this lets me be evasive then do damage for a few seconds big damage by the way and then i pull away so 2125 is when we started guys, we're coming up on a minute here and we're almost done with this cruiser. One more strafing run should get it. This is pretty, pretty tight in runs, pretty slow. Again, more proof of concept than anything. I'm just gonna keep shooting it until it's dead here. And that was one minute cruiser burn, one minute cruiser burn. And again, that was a little bit extra fast just because of the, um, just because I stopped a lot and I made very, very short attack runs. But we can take a little more distance and that also works just fine. So let's do that again, this time with simple power management and see how it changes. And then we'll talk about why it changes. But first, right, just keep in your head that it took one minute to burn that cruiser from full. Again, we served with full, full overcharged weapon energy. We always had our power in engines while we were shooting. Do, 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 do. All right, we're gonna do it again. 1945. Well, 1946, really, when we, when we started. A little slow there on the pull-off, but I'm just going to pull out. I'm watching that number below a little bit. All right, time to pull back in. I'm going to put my throttle to half while we shoot. Again, turrets are dead just so that I avoid doing any weird turret damage that doesn't always... Um, doesn't transmit to the cruiser health. So 1945, we've got a few more seconds left on this clock. Um, about 30 more seconds left. Cruise is at 7%. We're more than halfway through already. Half power to engines. And you can see this is a really simple like attack pattern, right? You don't spend too much time shooting and you spend a good amount of time evading. And if you ever find yourself getting shot, you can always pull back, recharge some shields, recharge some charge some weapons um just like before i'm just gonna keep shooting until it's dead forgive the uh horrible positioning here and that was just three seconds shorter wow that is really strange wasn't it i made a few mistakes there that where i was shooting with not overcharged lasers right instead of shooting with overcharged lasers which slowed down the overall dps that i was doing so why is that guys why why is it that with advanced power management, which is supposed to be much more efficient, why is it that there was almost no performance difference between the two when I was shooting these cruisers? And here's why, right? I was doing the most efficient way to shoot cruisers possible, or charge my energy possible, which is to put my power in weapons while I was boosting around. And having half power in weapons doesn't change the speed at which your overcharged energy um, goes away. So, right, I'm gonna take this power out of my weapons at 45 seconds here. Six, five. And let's see how long it takes with just two pips in weapons. Do, 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 do. The sky is black, the sea is orange. Um, it takes about 10, 11 seconds, 10, 11 seconds. All right, maybe 12 seconds. Um, now, if we change to advanced power management, right? If we change to advanced power man management, yeah, advanced power management, we charge our weapons all the way to full, pull it off at 715. Um, we have half power weapons now. 
Do, 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 do. Um, we have a very orange C here today. I shot, no! Mission failed, we'll get him next time. Charge up all the way again. All right. All right, it was 17 minutes that I put power out of out of weapons. Let's see, let's see. In about five seconds, we're at halfway. Looking good, looking good. And you can see there's really no difference. It's been about 11 seconds, 12 seconds. Out of, out of weapon energy. It doesn't actually matter. What does matter, what, what this does change, right, is if you have half power weapons, you spend energy a lot quick, a lot slower because you're regenerating twice as fast your non-overcharged weapon energy. But this, this is really inefficient. Why is it inefficient? Why is this bad? Because you're maxi you, have, you have power maximized in another system that you don't need the... Um, that you don't need the energy in, that I, I had my engines maximized the entire time. You don't want to do that. That's bad. You know why it's bad? Because you're not you're not using that boost energy to dodge. You could be using some of that boost energy to dodge around and then maximize your weapon energy instead. And you could overcharge. You not only do you charge it faster, but then you overcharge it afterwards. And that's how I burn those cruisers in under in about a minute each. Um, the other interesting thing about that is that most of the time, most players, even in A-Wings, have overcharged weapons and she and uh, other things, right? If I just, um, let me just crash real quick and show you guys, like, what an A-Wing looks like, like, on the hull of a Star Destroyer or whatever. Um, or just, like, flying around, like, power-wise. Um, so this is an A-Wing with standard laser, standard deflector, microfest engine, all that stuff. You're overcharging most everything all the time. Like, like they nerfed the shield regen of the A-Wing like a few times. It still recharges, you know, in like seven or eight seconds, five or five or seven seconds. Um, it overcharges with full with maximum power to power to shields, and then you can overcharge your weapons right halfway with just like that was one boost bar of energy that I boost skipped with, and that gives me like 50, like thirty percent of my uh, of my weapon energy, and I get to shoot the Star Destroyer. And look at how slowly that that weapon energy spends. And this is overcharged, so with four pips to weapons, it also doesn't spend any 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 slower than with two pips to engines. So okay, so we can do we can time this one too, right? I'm gonna max out my weapon power. I'm gonna max out my weapon power, my or excuse me, my weapon energy, um, and fully charge my weapon energy. Then I'm gonna have four pips and weapons and shoot. 32 seconds I started. I'm shooting shields, I'm shooting shields, woo, I'm an A-Wing, uh, this might actually die, okay. So 32 seconds, that was 8 seconds, 8 seconds shooting from from, four, from 32 seconds to 20, um, to 24 seconds, alright? 8 seconds, 8 seconds. Now if we do this again with, a, with simple power management, right, let's fully overcharge, and we'll start at, um, now. So I started at uh, basically basically 14 minutes, and it should be oh, a little less than eight seconds, like barely barely one or two seconds difference. Let's try it again, actually. It's it's a very small difference is the uh, general idea. So we'll start at 40 seconds. Do, 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 do. Five, four. Okay, so about six seconds, and then if we switch to do advanced, right? It seems like there's a small difference. So let's do this. And start at 18. There we go. 14, 13, 12. Oh, it's about six seconds either way. It was about six seconds the first time, I just didn't count properly. So either way, whether it's advanced or basic, um, overcharged lasers will spend at the same rate. Guess what most people are firing most of the time? It's overcharged lasers. Why? Because they do more damage. When you have good energy management, you want to be firing those overcharged lasers. There is a small case, right, where you are just like a wire or something, you're low on energy, you're going to be firing more standard lasers. But at the same time, like... The, boot, the, the fact that you boost gasp and you boost skip so often, even the Y-Wing, really does make up for a lot of that energy loss. So in conclusion, is basic power management bad? I mean, it's not better, but it's not that much worse. Thanks for watching, my guide. Um, like, subscribe, comment. I want to hear your thoughts on... Well, I don't really want to hear any thoughts, but I kind of do. But anyway. Um, <clears throat> 
and uh, make sure to check out my other guides if you're interested in the text that went into this. I have a guide on boost gasping, comprehensive guide to drifting if you want the like whole overview all at once on all of the text and all and the differences of all of the ships. I have a guide to advanced power management. Um, check all of those out if you haven't already, and have a good one. <laughs>